Just before we get into today's video, make sure you are subscribed to my second channel. We are nearly at 200 subscribers, so make sure you are subscribed with your post notification bell on if you're interested in Football Manager, Pro Clubs, Career Mode. We've even got Bradford City fans at series over there, so make sure you are subscribed over there. If you haven't already, enjoy the video. Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is an Oldham Athletic versus Bradford City match preview. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure you drop a like on it. If you could try and hit 50 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What is your score prediction for this match? Share the video around with your family and friends as well. Now if you somehow have been living under a rock and you don't know, on Tuesday morning we parted company with Derek Adams. So for this match, Mike Truman, our assistant manager, will be caretaker manager. He was obviously part of the, the joint management under Connor a seller's reign as well last season which thankfully steered away us away from relegation we won so many games on the bounce went on a great run of form and then utterly fell off a cliff I think the first loss was away at Newport we had an absolute stinker conceded like an 89th minute equaliser and a 96th minute loss something like that so we had an absolute stinker and we never really recovered from that Truman has been the assistant manager this season there's I, I do hope that he does get his praise that he thoroughly deserves and his thanks for last season but I hope the person who's appointing the new manager, which I'm 99% sure is Ryan Spikes. I hope he doesn't say that as, if we do well for this match against Oldham, Truman isn't the right appointment. It's not what we need. Whether it's from now until the end of the season, definitely not on a longer term contract. But for me personally, I think it has to be a proper manager. I'm still hoping for Grant McCann at the time of recording. Steve Evans is now the favourite. While I said the other day that he'd be in my top three, I definitely don't think he is the right appointment for now. Because of his history with the club, I've seen a lot of people on social media. It's, it's a very divided opinion. I think Grant McCann will be somebody that we could all get behind. But is that realistic enough? I'm not really too sure. So we'll have to see how Truman gets on in this match. I mean, last season when he was the manager, we did play that 4-2-3-1 formation, which we've played quite a number of times this season, but Truman and Sellers played it in a, a very different way. With the plays we've currently got available, I don't know if that's possible. We have no wingers available. I think Gilead's our only fit winger, to be honest. Out and out winger, that is. And is he really an out and out winger? So the League 2 table currently stands with Bradford City sat in 12th place. After 31 matches, we've got 9 wins, 13 draws, 9 defeats, 36 goals scored, 36 goals conceded, leaving us on a 0 goal this difference and 40 points our last couple of games then have been a loss a win a loss a draw and a loss so not great form for us at the moment that then compared to Oldham Athletic they're currently at 23rd in the Skybet League 2 table currently occupying that final relegation place after 29 games they've got 6 wins 8 draws 15 defeats 28 goals scored 46 goals conceded leaving them on a minus 18 goal difference and 26 points the last couple of games though have been a draw a win a win a draw and a loss I believe since John Sheridan's come in in. If I think he came in just after that loss away at Harrogate. I'm 99% sure he returned to the club then. So they're unbeaten since he has returned. Two wins, two draws. He's very good form. I think you know with the form that they're in, if they can continue that for the rest of the season, they will have no fears really of relegation. I think Carlisle will probably be my favourites. I think Scunthorpe already gone to be honest with you. The six points adrift with playing a game extra. They're absolutely terrible Scunthorpe. I think Oldham have a very good chance. Carlisle, Colchester, I mean Barrow could maybe get dragged into it to be honest with you. Even Rochdale only a few points above the drop zone but they have a lot of games in hand so I wouldn't really consider them as a relegation candidate. Oldham's last couple of games though have been a 3-3 draw at home to New, uh, sorry, away to New Newport County, Davies Keeler done scoring once again in that match. Although Oldham did concede 37 shots in that game. Baham Bula, this is very good news for us. He got sent off in that match. He's not going to be available for this game. I know they've obviously got some of the decent players. I think they recently signed that Mike Fondop, uh, who scored a brace actually against Newport. He's coming in and scored a decent amount of goals for them. But Baham Bula, we know the dangers that he pep, uh, posed at the start of the season when we played him, when we beat him 2 1. That game was absolutely crazy. They scored the 92nd minute equaliser and then uh, Lee Angle scoring the 98th minute winner with a penalty. Uh, but Oldham did concede quite late on in that match against Newport. Mickey Dimitri was scoring at an 89 minute equaliser. Before that game though they had a 2-1 win at home to Bristol Rovers they absolutely dominated Bristol Rovers off the park a 1-0 win away at Scunthorpe which was very big for their relegation survival uh, a 0-0 draw at home to Rochdale against their rivals then before that under their previous, I think he was an interim or caretaker manager, they had a 3-0 defeat away at Harrogate, they had a 6-0 defeat at home to Wigan in the Football League Trophy th of the round. 0-0 draws away to Hartlepool and Barrow and then just before that they had the 3-1 defeat at home to Scunthorpe so under John Sheridan, Oldham are actually a pretty decent side which 
I, I don't like because I don't have much confidence going into this match. In terms of score prediction, I'm going 3-1 to Oldham. I'm not confident about this game whatsoever. Usually after we play Oldham, we usually do sack a manager or that sort of stuff. But considering we just sacked one on uh, Tuesday morning and we don't actually have a proper first team manager, I mean, maybe if we appoint a manager before the Harrogate game, which I don't think will happen, I think more than likely Matt Truman will take that game on Tuesday night against Harrogate unless we maybe appoint him Monday morning, but that might be a little bit too soon. Maybe we'll... They'll sign the contract on Saturday and it won't get announced until Monday morning. I'm not really too sure. But in terms of the score prediction, I'm going 3-1 Oldham. I'm going to go with Callum Cook to get the goal for Bradford City. And then I'm going to go with Fondop, Davis Keeler Dunn and Nicky Adams. I believe he still plays for Oldham. So I'm going to go with them three to get the goals. Not really confident going into it, but Oldham way is always a decent away day. I don't actually think I've ever seen us win that or even draw. I think... I've been twice as a Bradford City fan. I've been a couple of times as like in the older men because I have a couple of mates who are Oldham fans. But the two times that I think I've been, I think we lost 2 1 the first time that I went. And I'm pretty sure it was 3 0 under Gary Boyer, his final match he, after it, but just before he got sacked. So I don't have great memories of Boundary Park. Fingers crossed we can turn it around though and get back to winning ways. I've also seen on Twitter, unfortunately, Jamie Rayner's on holiday or something like that right now. So it's somebody else who was doing the media thing for BBC Radio Leeds and I don't have his notifications turned on. So I didn't see it uh, until literally just now as I've been scrolling through Twitter. But Jamie Walker's going to be out for around two to three weeks with a hamstring injury, another hamstring injury. So we've never really seen this sort of problem before without Walker and Vernon, though. I don't really see what attacking threat we really have. I mean, I presume Callum Cook will play for this match. I think he will play behind Andy Cook because that was what was really successful for Connor Sellers and Mark Truman last season. So I can definitely see us playing some sort of a 4-2-3-1, but they like to use like narrow cams. So maybe Keen Skills gets a start. I'm not really too sure. He did quite well under Mark Truman last season. We might see Reece and get a game time. Maybe Finn Cousin Dawson as well. But personally, I'd like to go Hendry, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't make too many changes from the last match. Um, I just think the tactics need to be better, to be honest with you. And... You know, a couple of changes here or there, but I don't think we need an overhaul of changes. It's not like we were picking terrible players because we have got quite a lot of injuries at the moment and you can only really pick certain players. I think a lot of players pick themselves, to be honest with you. But anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like, as always, would be massively appreciated. If you could try and hit 50 likes, as I said, at the start of today's video, that'd be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. Get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. And make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What is your score prediction for this match? As I said, I'm going with 3-1 to Oldham for this game. I'm not really confident they've been very good since John Sheridan has come back as their manager. Share the video around with your family and friends as well. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel and you follow me on Twitch for pro clubs, football manager, all that sort of stuff. The links are all down in the description down below. I've got TikTok, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you follow me on all my other social medias if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will unfortunately see you on Saturday for the vlog. Peace.